Hi there, this is Grace of GV Maltes. And are you ready to diamond paint? Well, let's do the first thing to get started. After we've checked all of our drills that we have them all, I'm going to now kit this up. This is how I'm going to kit this one. There are different ways to do it, but this is the system I've chosen today. This is the Elizabeth Ward storage system. I will put a link below where I purchased this on Amazon. This is the diamond painting I'm going to be kidding up. Capitola Beach. And if you noticed, this did not have the numbers on the legend on the side. I just went ahead and wrote them down. It had the DMC code. So what I did was I matched it up. Just double check your drills. And I matched it up and the DMC code is right here which was 632 and that went with number one and on here I matched 632 is number one all the way down and it worked because it's easier for me to just put a number one two three and so on on my stickers so with this kit you have all of these different containers big and you have medium, you have very tiny, and then you have these very large ones. And I did do a diamond painting that took these big ones. So depending on the size of your diamond painting will depend on how many of these you might need to use. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you every single one of these. You don't want to be bored to death. But I'll do a few, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I have it finished. You get a pair of scissors to cut these apart. And what I will do is I'm going to look to make sure I'm putting number one on here. So I'm going to take my sticker. Very simple. I'm going to put it on here and put the number one. Now, sometimes I put the symbol and I'm going to do that, and it does not have to be perfect. Okay, I have the one, and this symbol shows to be, it looks like a right triangle, so I'm going to just draw that, and it's colored in. That just gives me an idea when I'm working on it. Oh yeah, this is the ones I'm supposed to be putting them in. So I just did like that. This kit, you have to pull these open. Sometimes they're hard to open, and if it's hard for you to get your thumb in there, I just take a pair of tw these sharp tweezers and pop it open. Very easy. Now, take my drills. I'm going to cut this open. And pour them into here. This is a nice size in these kits, and it fits in there perfectly. Okay, so I have number one. Now I usually go down this way. One, two, three, four. So let's go to number two. Okay, number two looks like a, a circle. A yellow circle with brown inside. I'm just going to make a circle. I'm not going to worry about it being perfect. Because all I have to do is look at the number on my, on here. That's the most important thing, is that I get the, the number to match the drills. So I'm going to put number two. And then I'm going to put a circle next to it. Just like that. Looks like 20. <laughs> but... I know that's two. It's going to be right underneath the number one. I'm going to cut that open. Okay. I'm going to take, I've got these very sharp tweezers and they do puncture you if you, I'm just going to take one side of it. Slides right in there and I just pop it open because I keep breaking this thumbnail. So I just did it that way. Then I'm just going to pour them in here. Just like that. 
very simple so I know these are number two and to make sure that I don't think that that's a 20 I'm just going to put a square around that circle just like that so I don't accidentally think oh wait a minute that's number 20 because sometimes when you get to going along you um, can mess up it's easy to do sometimes so number three put on here and number three is an X so I'm just going to put a three and next to that I'll put an X now you could put two separate stickers or you could put three up here the X down here it really doesn't matter how you decide to do that it's whatever works for you this works for me so that's what I do some people <clears throat> will make a copy of their um, legend over there and on their printer or with, through their phone and cut that out but this is just as easy and I don't have a color printer so it wouldn't make any difference anyway it'd be in black and white so I'm going to put number three in here just like that pour it in there these, these are square drills and I am going to do a video showing how to place square drills I had some people who were interested so let's go to number four and take a sicker put it on here this is very easy doesn't take but just a few minutes to do this and you do like I said you don't have to put the symbol I just do it that's I've just been doing it and this one has a downward arrow so let me draw that on there and there we have it line number four these are just beautiful colors I really am enjoying looking at these on this chilly day chilly winter day today it has warmed up quite a bit from what it was but okay. see you can't open it with your thumbnail I, I used my good one I guess you might say and then you just pour it on in there oh, that's pretty and then you have that then I'm going to go to number five I'm just doing the same thing over and over and it doesn't matter whether you're doing this in baggies or round cups or whatever kind of storage system that you decide to use you can do this in baggies I happen to have this and I've already used it once I took all the stickers off <laughs> I took the stickers off with these very very sharp tweezers that came in a kit and just okay I just put it underneath a sticker and it comes right off so don't be worried thinking oh my gosh how are you gonna get that sticker off it comes off I'm not gonna keep that one because it might have lost some of the sticky doing that but it just pops right off so it's no big deal just use these sharp tweezers and that way you're not tearing your nails up okay we're on number five I don't think you need to see me writing the number five, but I'll move over here where it's a little bit easier to see. And number five is a line that just goes straight up and down. Like that. So there's that. And now, oh, got to be careful with that one. That one is not, that nail for some reason just wants to keep breaking on me. Okay. Okay, here's number five. Beautiful colors. Again. Look at that. Oh, loving these colors. That's one one part that's kind of fun when you're kitting up is you get to see all the gorgeous colors in your kit. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like right now. Like this. Aren't they aren't they pretty? Doesn't that look nice? Very easy to find them when you're looking at it. 
And when you put this cover on, this kit, they aren't going to come out. You can hold it under your arm or whatever. They're not going to fall out. So you could put it in a bag or whatever to carry it around with. So I think you've seen me do enough of that. <laughs> um, I could do this longer, but I'll tell you what. I'm going to come back when I have the all finished, and I'll show you what my kit looks like once I have them all labeled and put into these different little boxes. So, I'll be back. thought I'd hop on here real quick. After I have done just a few, I've already put stickers on these, and I'm just now going through and putting the numbers and symbols on there. Then I'll put the drills in there. I just thought I'd show you that it goes a lot quicker if you do it that way. Okay, be back again in a few. Bye. Hey, I'm finished putting them all into their containers. Looks like a bunch of candy, doesn't it? I'll pull it up so I can hold it up a little straighter. Looks like a bunch of candies in there. And as you can see, I have them numbered and with a little symbol next to it. It just helps me a little bit. That's the way I like to do it. I use these for my labels. You get those at Walmart or anywhere. When I got to this little bitty one, I just tore a label in half and did it like this. Now, as I was working on this, I got to thinking, you know, not all the kits come with the diamonds and nice little packages like that. Some of them come like this. You're just going to do the same thing. Find all of those that go together. Like this is number 814. This one comes with a sheet to help you out. And you can work from the sheet without having to worry about the... Just looking at the canvas. And what I do is I put them in order just the way they are on this sheet. And I will lay, and I'll put number one, number two, number three on the piece of paper. And there's a tiny little symbol. And you can write the little symbols on your containers if you like. Some are real easy, some are a little harder to do. But I got to thinking, I'm like, not all of them are kitted up easily like that. Some are in these little bags that look like this. All you have to do is find number 152. Well, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not kidding this up, but I, th I think you un can understand what I'm talking about. Just find your 152 packages and put them in number one container. Then go through. Put a little. I always put dots or check marks or something so I know I've done them. And then I'll go to number 155. Do the same thing. That'll be number two. And then number three. Just like that. If you want me to show you how to kit one up like this, just let me know in the comments below. It's pretty much done the same way. Just takes it does take a little bit longer because you have to cut all of these open. I always keep a trash can, can close by. As you can see, I put all my papers in there. So I have that close by whenever I'm kidding up or doing other things. It's just easier that way. So anyway, this is ready to go. As I said, I will be doing a drill along, just kind of chatting with you as I show you how to set square drills. I have had some people ask for a video on that, and I am very pleased to take requested videos. So, if you have a request for some type of video, just let me know. I will put the link to this Elizabeth Ward storage system that I got on Amazon. I think they have them at Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if Walmart has them. Shoot, I live in a small town. Pretty much everything has to come from Amazon. These, you can get these almost anywhere. Amazon, Walmart, uh, city, city office supply, wh whatever kind of store that you have near you. So, I will talk to you soon as we do a, do a 
drill along and I show you how to put squares down. It won't be alive, it's just going to be me putting them down. Um, if you'd like me to do a live, let me know. Usually when I do a live, I don't craft at the same time because I like to read your comments and answer questions and just kind of have fun chatting. So let me know if you're interested in me doing a live video. Um, I have done them before and had a lot of fun doing it. Anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. You have a blessed day. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.